FPS. Uh, it's the L502X model. So we have uh, Crucial's BX500 uh, SSD. So we are going to upgrade it. It's 480 GB, and uh, we already have a 7200 uh, RPM hard disk in this. But uh, you know, the main reason I'm going to upgrade is for like. Uh, faster uh, booting and faster approach of everything and another reason is like SSDs retain the data more securely in magnetic disk you have chances to lose data old photographs and videos so they will corrupt over the time so that's why I'm upgrading this old buddy so uh, let's start so you can see like it's very old system and first we have to open battery so I have opened it so many times so most of the screws are lost so there are not much screws left there are a few so let me grab my screwdriver okay so it's already opened um, so we have to open this one I'm not sure I need to open this one as well uh, okay let's try without opening that one so we have uh, some locks here and there is screws here so let me show you so these are the locks so you can see these are the locks that need to open and now our top part is loose so as you can see it popped out there are just locks on the sides so you can just carefully keep popping the plastic outside so these locks you can do uh, use the screwdriver as well but as I have opened it so many times so I know the where screws are so I think there must be one screw here not sure about that one yeah so you can see like I have opened this one so this is the touch pad and here you can see the hard drive so this is the hard drive this is WD black so this is we don't need to remove a lot of things we just need to lose the screw from here and here okay so I'm removing this so now you can see uh, just pop it out back and it's outside so this is our traditional magnetic disk you can see here it is WD back it is also faster one because it is uh, the gaming laptop at that time so it is 7200 rpm so it is also the costly one so now we have to remove the case You can see the magnetic disk so uh, this is the hard drive there is no issue with this your drive uh, currently it's working fine but just for securing the data and for faster performance I'm switching to SSD so let's unbox this SSD so the size would be little bit smaller size because it is 480 GB so it will give lesser amount of storage but it is faster so 
so this is the SSD is very light as compared to the magnetic disk and if we compare the size so size is almost similar uh, by length and by height you can see there is not much difference but uh, comparison to weight uh, it is on the heavier side and it's very light so <coughs> I can see like it's very dusty here so I am planning to clean it as well but let's keep this video as SSD upgrade video so now I have to uh, lock the frames with it so this is how it looks now if I can show you the position so I just need to insert it like this and it should work okay so I'm pausing the video for cleaning the laptop so uh, I have cleaned it a little bit so let's install the screws So uh, currently uh, this drive does not contain any operating system so this is the first time I am booting uh, the operating system on this as well so uh, let's just close it like this and uh, let's plug the power inside it and let's see how it works. Let me turn on the power. So we will press F2 button to boot it from. So now I'm installing Windows 10 here. Uh, so you can see uh, select it next. So install now. So it is looking for the product key just let me quickly enter the product key so you can see guys like uh, installation is started uh, so this is windows 10 and uh, now i'm installing it on uh, one of the partitions so i have created two partitions uh, one for keeping other files and one for operating system dedicatedly so uh, now it is 47 percent it's taking some time but let's see how much total time it will take so it is the fresh installation on the SSD so uh, after that we will uh, continue on that so I have installed Windows 10 operating system on this device and all the softwares that are required for me so let's see how much time it will take so it is booting up uh, pretty fast as compared to disk so it roughly took I think six to seven seconds to boot yeah, so it is pretty fast as compared to the hard disk I was using <laughs> 